All right, good to catch up with uh, Flames defenseman Derek Forbert. And uh, first of all, let's just kind of talk about the first few days of camp here, uh, the feeling of kind of getting back, first of all, with a, a large group, obviously in smaller groups before this week started, but uh, to kind of have more of a sense of normalcy, even though there is some, some differences, but just have that feeling kind of closer to normal. Yeah, I mean, it's been good. Uh, it's good to get back with the fellows and get going on the ice together. Uh, it's been a good camp so far, and we just got to keep it going. Nice, I would assume, to have a little scrimmage today, a little more of a game-type feel uh, as you kind of ease back in and then, you know, make that push towards uh, what will be that first exhibition game next week. Yeah, it was good. Uh, I think it was for a lot of guys, it was kind of the first time playing five-on-five -five hockey. So uh, just kind of getting back and, you know, getting used to doing those little plays and little touches and communicating out there was uh, it was a good first step today as far as playing five-on-five -five goes. Yeah, no kidding. And uh, that'll be July 28th against Edmonton. I would imagine that as we kind of go through this camp and you talk about sort of the feeling of uh, more of a sprint, I guess, on the other side, uh, as opposed to the marathon of a season, what is that as a player when you're kind of preparing for a, more of a playoff type feel coming out of a camp as opposed to, you know, gearing up for a long season? Uh, I mean, I don't know. I guess I, I feel like no one's really done it this way. So I guess we'll kind of, you know, find out. But uh, right now it's just about, you know, kind of getting in shape and, uh, you know, getting as many touches as you can, as many reps as you can, and, you know, hopefully you're ready for, uh, you know, the big playoff games. Maybe just uh, take us through what you did over over the course of the break where you were kind of um, spent your time in, in quarantine and, and uh, you know, were you able to kind of enjoy some downtime, some family time to kind of take advantage of, of the pause? Uh, a little. I, uh, I went back to L.A. and spent the majority of my time there. So, um, you know, just trying to do my best to stay in shape. Uh, you know, it's, the weather's pretty good there, so we got to do a lot of outdoor stuff. And uh, and then for like the last two weeks, I went back to Minnesota to see my family and, you know, really started skating. Um, there was a lot of ice back in Minnesota that was available, so it was good. I was able to do that and then, you know, came out here early and, you know, did the quarantine and everything just to make sure I was ready to go. Did you have uh, the, the full gym set up or how did uh, the, the off-ice workouts go throughout the course of the, the break? Uh, it was good. I was just kind of able to... We've got like a buddy back there who owns a gym, and since he wasn't using any of his stuff, he brought a lot of his equipment over, and uh, me and my roommate just had a little, basically a gym in the garage, so it was good. Uh, maybe just the, you know the thought of of coming back to Calgary. Does it does it still have kind of a visiting city feel? Just knowing that you make that trade and you spend the time on the road, and then it's only seven games with the team before the pause takes effect. Kind of an interesting you know situation, or does it you know come back to Calgary? Does it have a home feel to it? Uh, yeah, I mean, coming back a second time, I didn't really know what to expect, but, uh, you know, you see the guys and everyone's excited to see each other and, uh, you know, it just makes you feel a part of the team. Like there wasn't really a visitor, you know, feel at all. I, I think, you know, having that road trip and really getting to know the guys right when I got traded was so good. And, um, you know, I definitely feel a part of the squad. So, you know, it was good coming back and seeing all the boys. Uh, what for you, you know, as you've gone through some different kinds of uh, training camps at different levels uh, and specifically in the National Hockey League, what for you is important, you know, in terms of feel and just kind of making sure that you're ready to go when, when you have live game action? Um, I think there's just like there's so many little plays that you got to make out there, like in five on five situations that like you don't really get in, you know, summer skates. Or, and the only way you can really get that is by playing five on five and being in those game situations where guys are flying around and hitting you. And uh, I think. You know, today was a good first step as far as that goes with those little five-on-five five, uh, kind of mini scrimmage shifts that we were doing. So I think just kind of more of that, and that kind of helps you get in the flow of things. Uh, what about the opportunity? I mean, at, at different points over the last couple of months, you weren't ever sure if this was going to be the case. But, uh, you know, knowing that uh, we'll call it playoff hockey. I know it's it's uh, technically the qualifying round, but when you're in a best of five against the team, it has a playoff hockey feel to be sure. I mean, what about the opportunity – you know, to play for a Stanley Cup here and, and kind of seize it now? I mean, it's huge. I mean, you know, as my last two years in L.A., we were on the outside looking as far as playoffs went. So uh, to get this opportunity to, you know, compete for a Stanley Cup is, you know, it doesn't come around every year. So uh, I'm definitely looking forward to it. And I know the boys are excited. And, you know, we want to take this opportunity by the horns and just run with it. And just one last one. I know, um, you know, in terms of defensive depth, uh, you need as many guys as you can when you go through, you know, a playoff battle. And, uh, you look around and there's a lot of depth on this team. Uh, how much of a benefit do you think that's going to be moving forward, just knowing, you know, there's a lot of guys that can play some different roles on that back end? Yeah, it's huge. I mean, especially with this quick start, uh, you know, injuries going to happen. And, you know, to have the depth that we have is it's a, it's a nice luxury. we got a lot of good D-men here. And, uh, you know, we're a pretty good cohesive group. So uh, it's exciting. Well, listen, we appreciate the time. I know this is a, a little bit different. The headset's working out well, though. And uh, yeah. we look forward to chatting again down the road. Yeah, thanks for having me. Yeah, thanks, Eric. Bye.